What's going on, everybody? Today we are here in the back room of a card shop, and we're gonna have a debate. The debate's gonna be between two of the iconic villains in the Dragon Ball series. The thing is, though, these debaters don't know who they're going to be debating for until they open this piece of paper in their hand. So they're going to be randomly honoring or defending this villain to see who is the most villainous, I guess. Villainous. Yes. Dastardly. Yes. Excellent. So, sir. With the, so the debaters we have today is Scott. What's up? And Andre. Salutations. You will lose. So, we're going to flip this coin to see who goes first. And then you're going to open up, you're both going to open up your sheets of paper to see who you got. Heads. Call heads? Call heads. Huh, it redo it. It went in my pocket. I'll redo. It went in my pocket, though. It didn't drop on the ground. It's a redo. It still went on. Heads. Heads. Yeah, All right. So, open up your papers, gentlemen. <laughs> That's perfect. What'd you get? <laughs> Who'd you get? Majin Buu. Majin Buu. Cell. Cell. All right. All right. So we have the. Because he didn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the magical pink deity <laughs> versus absolute perfection. Would you that. like to start off? I would love to start off. All right. So we're going to set the timers here to make sure everybody is on topic and on time. These debates will be one minute long. And 60 seconds. Go! No prep time. <laughs> no prep time. <laughs> Get out of the shot, Josh. Fuck you, Wes. Weston. All right. So, we're going to start. You get one minute to one debate minute. why Majin Buu is a better villain. Okay. Or a the best villain okay. in Dragon Ball Z. All right. All right. Ready? And go. First off, he actually set out what he wanted to do, which was destroy everything, because he did. Second off, he's better than Zell because he does the same thing, but he actually doesn't have to just absorb two things to get stronger. He can absorb anything and get stronger. Third, he's created by magic and not science, so better. Because you don't have to be smart to make him. And he can copy other moves. Just by looking at it. You still got 30 seconds? I still got 30 seconds. Yeah. Wow. Um, first off, he absorbed Gotenks. He absorbed Piccolo, Gohan, and Vegito in a weakened state. And then he turns into the little dastardly child that we all know and love, Kid Boo, Who is the actual form that they wanted to get in the first place. To destroy everything in the world. And your time is up. All right, so we've got the first part of our debate. <laughs> Seems like that? we have one person that absolutely loved that. <laughs> so, next up, we're going to have Dre, and he's going to be debating on behalf of Cell. And are you ready? Yes. Start. Cell is the best villain in the Dragon Ball Z series because everything was premeditated. When he went to go and he killed and he ate all those cities, it's because he needed energy. When he went and he trapped and ate the androids, it's because he wanted perfection. All of those and, and all of those scenarios, you could say that the people never actually died. Um, I hypothesized that they were still alive in some shape or form. Basically, I'm saying that Cell is the organic version of the Borg. He eats and assimilates everything he comes across. He doesn't need to look and study a move. Why? Because the, the potential for those moves are already in him. They were bred into him. He does not need to study. He knows. He is the perfect weapon. And, okay, yeah, so his my opponent says that uh, Boo is made out of magic. Magic is just unexplained science. So, yeah, the person using it needs to be intelligent in order to use it in the first place. Not just any... Hmm? Can we very good, very good. Can we get the rebuttal? Hmm. 
It yeah, is one minute. Well, I mean, like, because he brought up a lot of good points, but at the same time, I can explain away these points at the same time. Mm, I think we'll let the audience rebuttal for this. What do you think, audience? Do you think Scott did a better job at explaining why Boo is the better villain? No, because he's wordy uh, and I'm not wordy. <laughs> or do you think Andre did better in explaining that Cell was? We'll let you guys decide. So, this has been DB, Scott, and Andre from the Backroom Crew, and we will see you guys next time. Remember, social class, act like you've been somewhere before. Peace. And keep it peaceful. Ha, ha, ha.